I'm Luca Pisanello, and I'm a chief engineer at Cater Number One. Hi, I'm uh, Ali Roberts, and I'm head of Cater Number One. Today we're talking about uh, DRS, which is a um, drag reduction uh, system. Basically, all Formula Ones are, are equipped with this uh, device, which is, has been introduced in the rules uh, to um, improve the probability of uh, overtaking uh, between cars. Uh, basically, there's uh, an actuator, which you, you can't see, but normally this actuator basically moves the, the flap of the rear wing, and in, in this way, it operates by reducing the drag, and this can only be activated during the race by the car who is following. This is basically to uh, enhance the possibility of overtaking. If the car following is within one second from the car in front, in uh, typically two of the most important um, straights of the circuit, the driver is then allowed to use this and gain top speed in order to attack the car in front. Okay, so from an error perspective, um, what we're trying to do is um, we are trying to get the most efficient wing um, with, when the DRS is closed, but then uh, when it's open, we want to lose as much drag as possible, and we can only move this flap a certain amount. Um, so we're trying to design the wing profiles so that a that this um, this profile here gives us as little drag as possible, and also that the air separates from underneath the rear wing here to so reduce the drag on this part as well. Um, so combining those two, you can have a significant impact on the car's drag up to 20%. That's it from the DRS system. Thank you.